My name is Martin Boers. I'm a professor of clinical epidemiology and a rheumatologist working at the VU University Medical Center in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. In designing a good graph or a table, there's two main points of general strategy that always come back. That is getting clear vision and clear understanding. Designing a graph or a table is not a one-shot thing. It is an iterative program. And while you're designing, there's three questions that you always have to ask yourself. First, what is the message? Second, does this message need a graph or a table? And if the answer is yes, what's the best form? What graph or table should I use to deliver that message? And the other key principle of graphing is to use good tools. So when I started my scientific career, making graphs was finding a good artist to draw it for you. But now we have computer programs that can do the job. And the big question is, shall I use a standard program or do I need a dedicated program? And the answer is, for most purposes, you need a dedicated program. Standard programs are okay to make tables, but they're not okay to make graphs. Most standard programs will give you a simple graph, but if you want to change anything on your graph, the process becomes very, very frustrating. And the statistical programs that you can use readily make very complex graphs, but getting them into publication or presentation form, again, is a very frustrating exercise. So if you're serious about graphs, you have to buy a special program. There are about 15 good programs around, and any of them will do the job. The advantage of a dedicated program is basically that anything goes. You can change any element of your graph to your liking. The downside, of course, is that you have to pay money for it. It's extra cost, and you have to learn to use the program, and also sometimes the programs are not cross-platform, so they'll work on one computer platform, but not the other. If you're interested in looking for a dedicated graphic program, all you need to do is Google scientific graphing software, and you get about 10,000 hits. Or you can go to Edward Tuft's website. Edward Tuft is the grandfather of scientific graphic, and he'll help you out. So I'm really thrilled at the opportunity to share with you four videos. Each of those videos captures a basic design issue of tables and graphs and covers it in some details with some examples that I pulled out of recent editions of the journal and improved. And if you follow along, you will be able to improve your own tables and graphs to a significant extent.